Ephesians 2.19 Who are the saints Kaushim mentioned and how do we form and will we form part of that family that is mentioned? Therefore, you are no longer strangers or foreigners, but fellow citizens of the saints, of the separated ones, and members of the family of Yahweh. Who are the separated ones? The separated ones are all those who turned away from the works of the flesh to serve Yahweh, to do His will, to believe in the Messiah who was to come or who has already come, depending on the time in history when that person was born, and they remain separated from sin, from the desires of the flesh, until their deaths. Therefore, they have a special place in eternal life, along with all others who have believed in the same sovereign, in the same Messiah. How do we form, and will we form part of that family that is mentioned, as I just said, by remaining separated, away from sin, away from the world of the works of the flesh, not giving in to the inclination to evil, to thoughts of wickedness, nor to words, and not to actions either. But remembering what it says, because here we are talking about family, we should recall what John 1 says, since Paul speaks there of adoption, the adoption that every human being needs through the Messiah Yahushua in order to be a child of Yahweh. And in John we see a key verse 11 and 12. He came to his own, but his own did not receive the Messiah. Yet to all who received him, to those who believe in his name, Yahushua gave the authority to become children of Yahweh. Therefore, it is those who receive the testimony of the Messiah and believe in his name who become children and thus become part of the family of the Holy Ones.